Hello, it's me, Robin, with Simple Food, Simple Life. Today, I'm going to show you how to make homemade peanut butter fudge. This is a request from one of my granddaughters. She said, Granny, would you please demonstrate how to make peanut butter fudge on your YouTube channel? And I said, yes, I will. So, that's what I am doing today. Let me show you what I have. In this pan, I have three cups of just plain white sugar. I have one cup of peanut butter that will go in later. I have vanilla. I have a cup of milk. Now you can use any milk that you have. I happen to have 1% today, so that's what's going in. And I have butter. And I'm just going to use half of this stick, so that is the equivalent of four tablespoons of butter. I have a pre-prepared greased uh, 8 by 8 inch pan. And I have a cup, empty cup. I'll show you what we're going to do with that. And of course I have a wooden spoon because you're going to have to babysit this. You can't leave it. Okay, you've got to stick with it. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to turn my heat on and I'm going to start my heat at high. I'm going to add the milk. Now remember, it's one cup of milk to three cups of sugar. And let's get this mixed up. We want to make sure that it's thoroughly mixed. And it doesn't take long for that to happen. Now, what's going to happen is this is going to be, we're going to cook this, and this is going to be the basis for our peanut butter fudge. Uh, ultimately. So this is the important part. You have to get this right if you want your fudge to turn out perfectly. This is the old-fashioned way to make peanut butter fudge. Um, a lot of recipes call for marshmallow and that kind of thing, but I don't do that. I make it the old-fashioned way. This is the way I have always made it. And this is the way I'll make it until I can't make it anymore. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. See how that's becoming more liquid with just the one cup of milk? So one to three, one cup of milk to uh, one to three cups of just plain white sugar. Now, this is stirred up pretty good. We're going to let this come to a boil. And the reason we have to watch it, we don't want it to boil over. And I will periodically adjust the heat. And I'm going to stay with it, okay? So, I'm going to let this start bubbling. The sugar will melt even more. You won't, it won't feel grainy on the bottom anymore. And, um, and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. All right, now it's been on there for about a minute, minute and a half, but I want to show you what I've done while I'm waiting for this to come up to the boil. I have uh, divided my uh, half stick of butter into four sections because that's going to help, help it to melt quicker when the time comes. But in the meantime, I'm going to put this back in the refrigerator because I want it to stay good and cold. That's important for your final product. Do not use soft butter. Secondly, I have prepared a cup of uh, ice water. This water is very cold. I even put an ice cube in it to help it to stay cold. Now the reason we need this is because we're not going to use a candy thermometer of any kind. You don't need any special equipment. We're just going to use this cup of ice water and this is going to help us determine if our um, sugar and milk mixture is done to the right consistency and um, we call that the soft ball stage and I'll show you how we do that and then um, 
this is this is our gauge. This is how we're going to tell where we're at and if we're ready to add our other ingredients. Isn't this exciting? <laughs> All right. Going to let this continue to cook. It has not boiled yet, but it will get there. All right. Now we're just coming to a nice rolling boil here. And you notice I'm sticking with it and every now and again I give it a nice stir. Don't be concerned about stirring it. I know some say, oh you have sugar crystals and all that, but just do it this way and it will come out okay. Now, I'm going to adjust my heat. I'm turning it down because I don't want this mixture to uh, boil over. That's a very nasty mess <laughs> on your stove. And if you've ever cleaned it up, you don't want to clean it up again. Okay, so see what we're doing there? Now, it may splatter a little bit. If it starts doing that, put your heat down. You can adjust your heat down and up. It's not a big deal, okay? All right, now then. It's, it's cooking, it's boiling, and that's what we want to see. Now, as we go along, I'll show you what we're looking for. Now, this has actually been cooking for almost six minutes. Okay, you can't rush this. You we really, you really have to just stay with it. You'll be happy that you did. Okay. All right. Now you notice that I'm stirring continually, almost continually, and I'm going to adjust my heat down just a little bit more. And you can see that it's thick. See how thick it is. But we're not there yet. This is not what we're looking for. It's thick. As it progresses, it will become a little bit more uh, translucent. I'm not saying that you'll see through it, but it will cook down and it will become more translucent. Be careful because if you start getting brown, if you're stirring it and you start getting brown specks from the bottom of the pan, your heat is too high. It, you're going to run the chance of uh, ruining it. So don't just adjust the heat. It's far better to have a little too low than too high. Okay? Now I'm still stirring it. Now one thing, be sure that the pan you use is a heavy bottom pan. That's pretty important. If you use a thin pan, you run the risk of burning your milk and sugar mixture no matter no matter how you adjust the heat. You just will. So that's a good preventative. Make sure you use a heavy bottom pan. Now the peanut butter that I'm going to use for this fudge is uh, a chunky peanut butter. That's my preference. Uh, if that's not your preference, use the creamy. That's perfectly fine. Now some uh, folks would like to make this a vegan candy. And frankly, I have never uh, made this with a nut milk, say almond milk, cashew milk, uh, coconut milk, any of those kinds of plant-based milks. I've never made it that way. If you would like to experiment with that, please feel free. And also, if you want to use a vegan butter instead of the uh, regular uh, dairy butter, that's fine. Go ahead. Uh, it's entirely up to you. I did not grow up with butter. My mother made this. This was um, a treat for us. My mother actually used canned milk for the milk and she used um, margarine. I did not grow up with butter. We grew up primarily with margarine. So if you want to do that, oh, do that. Um, just as long as you get the proportions right, then you'll be fine. All right, we're still not there yet, and we have had this cooking now for about a minute, or excuse me, we have a, oh, about nine and a, eight and a half minutes is about where we're at. So I'm going to continue to cook this. When this gets to where I want it to be or where I can test it with my ice water, I'll show you. 
Now then, I've had the heat on under this for almost 10 minutes, and I set a timer so that I could tell you approximately how long uh, this is going to take to cook. So it's been cooking, or rather on the heat, for about 10 minutes. Okay? Now, I just want to show you how... Uh, now, I know from the look of this, this is not done. I've got it on a medium-low heat. It is a nice rolling boil. So I know from the look of it, it's not done yet. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take some of it, like this, and I'm going to put it in the cup of ice water. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to test it. Now, let me bring you over here so I can show you what I'm going to do. And I'm still keeping an eye on my my uh, mixture that's pretty important. All right, now, I'm going to drain off a little bit of this water so I can see it better. Now look, let me show you something. You can do it with a spoon here. Do you see, that is not, see how runny that is? That's not cooked. That is, it's getting there, but it is not to a softball. A softball stage is going to be where we can Literally, I can reach in there with my fingers and I can form it into a nice little softball. We're not there yet. Okay? Alright. So, in the meantime, I'm going to give this a stir. Excuse me. Better come and bring you back. I'm going to give it a stir and then I'm going to adjust my heat again because it's getting a little high and I want it to run over. You see how you have to babysit it? But this is a lot of fun. Once you learn how to do this, it just it'll become second nature to you. And if if people love peanut butter, they generally love this. This is probably my this is my oldest son's favorite thing. If I want to make him really happy, and he's 50 years old now, I just make him a batch of this and send it home with him, and he's happy. <laughs> okay. I'm going to prepare another cup of ice water because I want to make sure that I always have one handy for my testing because once this starts coming together, it goes fast. So we want to make sure we are prepared at all times. All right, got my ice water ready. <clears throat> Again, some fresh ice water. And I'm going to cook this. Still cooking it some more. Now, I've adjusted my heat a couple of different times. It's, it's not a big deal. You're just going to stay with this. You know, you wouldn't put your baby in a bathtub and leave it. Well, you don't want to start this and leave it. <laughs> you have to babysit your, your uh, sugar mixture. Okay. So we're not quite there yet. Now, I'll show you what happens when you're... You see how it's become thicker, it's become more, and you see how the bubbles are kind of changing on it. And also, uh, I've adjusted my heat so there's no splatter or anything. Just exercise caution because this is extremely, extremely hot. And molten sugar or melted sugar, hot sugar, you do not want to have an accident with that. So be careful. Just exercise caution, and you will do fine. Now you see how we're doing there? Look at that. It becomes uh, kind of molten. And that's really kind of what you're, you're looking for there. Okay? All right. Now let me test it. Let's test it one more time, and we will uh, see where we're at. I'm going to take my cup. I'm going to add the mixture to it. Now, I don't think this is ready, but it's okay. We're going to test it because it's good to test it several times to know where you're at. Now, I'm going to pour a little bit of this water off so I can reach down in there. I guess I could have gotten a wider cup, but I didn't. So, are we there? Nope, we're not there yet, but we will be there. 
we will be there. So, cook it a little bit longer. This whole thing from beginning to end is going to take you probably about 20 minutes. It's candy. You, you just really cannot rush candy. Okay? Now, I do have a candy thermometer. It doesn't have any batteries in it right now. <laughs> Which shows you how much I use it. <laughs> but this is the old-fashioned way. You know, there was a time they didn't have candy thermometers. All they had was this. And they're their cold water bath testing. All right, I'm going to grab some more water. Okay, I changed cups. I got a bigger cup because <laughs> that one just wasn't working for me. It was pretty, but it just wasn't doing the job. I got to be able to get my fingers down in there so I can feel it. So, okay. Stirring and we're stirring and we're stirring. But now, can you see if there's a little bit of a change there? Can you see how we're, see it? And it's just a rolling boil. It's not a hard boil, it's a rolling boil. And you see when I quit stirring it, how it, it bubbles up. It kind of has a little volcanic action there. How do you like that? How do you like that phrase? Volcanic action. <laughs> All right. There we go. We're stirring it. We're going to keep on stirring it. And But look, it's starting to change color a little bit. It's not quite as white. It's a little more opaque. And that's what we're looking for. So we're getting there. But keep in mind, you know, once this is made and we add our other ingredients, this moves really quickly and uh, it will harden up pretty quickly once we get it in our buttered dish. All right, a couple more minutes and we will be ready to test it again. I think we're almost there. All right, now look, I've tested it again and I want you to see where we're at. Look at that. See the difference? That formed nicely into a ball. And that's really what we're looking for. So I'm going with it. Okay? All right. Dry my hands off here. Now, back it off a little bit. I'm going to go grab my butter. All right, now I'm going to turn my heat off. And I've got my butter. It's, it's nice and cold. And I'm going to drop it down inside the mixture, the sugar mixture. And I'm going to quickly add a splash of vanilla. You don't really need to measure the vanilla, just it's just a splash of vanilla is all it is. And I'm going to stir this up until my butter is almost completely melted. That's why I cut it up into smaller chunks so that it wouldn't take as long to melt. Okay, I'm just using my wooden spoon. And that butter is, along with the peanut butter, is going to add a wonderful creaminess to this mixture. Okay? Alright, we're almost there with that. Now I'm going to add my peanut butter. Now, the peanut butter, like I said, is chunky. And just get your cup of peanut butter in there. And now we're going to mix that all up. Now be patient. It's going to take a little bit to mix it and get it all mixed. That peanut butter is going to make it creamy. The butter makes it creamy. But that peanut butter also helps solidify your fudge. Peanut butter fudge is so good. It's so delicious. But this is very rich. It's a very rich candy. Now look how creamy that is. You see the nuts? Just keep stirring, stirring, stirring it. You don't want any big lumps of peanut butter in there. If you have a whisk that you like, you can use the whisk. I find it really isn't necessary because everything pretty much melts down nicely. Okay? Alright, now 
I'm going to pour it into my prepared pan that is buttered and turn my guess I didn't turn my burner off. Need to turn the burner off. All right. Now, sometimes if you cook this a little bit too long, it will start solidifying before you get it out of the pan. Just work fast. <laughs> That's all. You just work fast. All right. Now, I want you to see. Look here. Do you see here how this is now it's starting to solidify a little bit there? That's a good batch. That's a real good batch of peanut butter. Okay, now we're not going to put this in the refrigerator. We're going to simply we're going to simply let it sit out till it cools down. You actually, if this is made correctly, you don't need to put this in the refrigerator. You don't even need to refrigerate it. Uh, and you certainly don't need to refrigerate it to keep it solid. It's going to be fine just the way it is. You can just put it in a covered container and it's fine. Okay? Uh, so, there we go. We're going to come back when it's all cooled down and ready to cut. And I will show you what we have. Oh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And make sure that you share it because other people need to know how to do this stuff too, you know. <laughs> okay, we'll be back when it's ready. All right. I believe our fudge is ready to take out of the pan. Now, you know, don't you, that usually the first one that comes out is not, comes out that, doesn't come out that great. That's just the nature of fudge. <laughs> but let's give it a try here. Now, this is still slightly, slightly warm, but you can see how firm it is. See how firm it is? And I didn't put this in the refrigerator. This is actually, it's just been sitting out. So I'm going to get my spatula under here and see if I can get a pretty piece out for you. Pretty, that's the operative word here. Maybe it's going to come out a couple of pieces. Oh, look at that. It came out very nicely. Okay. Let's take a look. Now, put that one back in. I want to show you. See how creamy it is? It's soft and creamy. And as it uh, cools off more, because this is slightly warm, it will become even more firm. So let's break into this and see what we have. See one of those chunky nuts there? That's why I like the chunky nuts. See that? Like I said, it's warm, but um, sometimes we can't resist. We have to go in while it's still warm. <laughs> All right, this doesn't have to be refrigerated. Just put it in an airtight container and it'll be fine, okay? All right, <clears throat> I love you, Blair. Thank you for asking for this uh, peanut butter fudge demonstration. I love you. And listen, if I can do it, you can do it, okay? And to all my grandchildren, I love you with all my heart and soul and mind. <laughs> Think of you every day. All right? So, I hope this helps. And you just remember that little is much when God is in it. Okay? Hold on. Got to take a bite. Ooh! Pretty good. All right. Love ya. I'll talk to you later. Bye.